Yes, this is what you think it is, and this is what made it, a grizzly bear walking in front of my cabin in the Shoshone Forest near Yellowstone. This was not the first Bruin visitor. They've dropped in several times through the years, as have moose. It's never a good idea to surprise a big animal that could kill you. Do you want to be really loud in bear country? Erica Zimmerman gives Draper Museum visitors lessons on staying safe in bear country. The Draper Museum is part of the center of the West in Cody. The Draper partnered with the U.S. Forest Service to also produce a series of videos on bear safety. Draper curator Corey Yanko. Bear safety is imperative here. They are part of the landscape and it's what makes this landscape so wonderful. Shoshone National Forest wildlife manager Carrie Murphy says the forest also partners with Wyoming's Game and Fish Department, Safari International and the Greater Yellowstone Coalition to save lives. Those folks have been great partners in uh, helping us educate uh, forest visitors and park visitors. We ask Zimmerman to give us the most important things to remember when hiking, fishing, or wildlife watching in bear country. The best thing to do in bear country is be situationally aware. Um, so looking ahead for bears, just being aware of your surroundings. That means even this is important to look for bear poop, tracks, or carcasses they may be eating. The next thing is to always carry bear spray in country. Um, carry it in a place where you're going to be able to easily reach it. That means on your belt or your chest, so you can grab it and spray in seconds. Studies show bear spray is more effective at preventing human injury or death than guns. And then the next is being really, really loud in bear country. This is so you don't surprise the bears while you're in bear country. Zimmerman says traveling in groups is better than traveling alone. And last but not least. To never rare, run in bear country. This is simply because bears are predators and they have predator chase instinct. Experts say you should back away instead. And if the grizzly attack has already started, the best way to stay alive is to lay on your stomach, cover your neck and play dead. From Wapiti, Wyoming, I'm Penny Preston reporting for MTN News.